How's it going, A? Eh? I want to show you guys how to make a bagging system for your lawn tractor. What I wanted to do was basically build some sort of chute, because that's what you need for a, a lawn tractor bagger. Obviously, you need to have the blades throwing the grass out and into a bin of some sort, which I haven't really thought of yet. My initial idea was just to uh, hook the tube into my trailer. The idea is for this to be cheap, obviously. As cheap as possible, you know, because it's coronavirus time. People need to do the yards. I wanted to do this. I want to have the ability to bag and not have to rake everything up. And so this year I decided to build something. Anyway, here's what it looks like. And then I'll just give you an idea of essentially what I did. This is what I built um, as sort of the start of my bagging system. All this is, is a, as you can sort of see here, all this is is a boot that you can get from Home Depot. Uh, maybe I'll put a picture in uh, just to give you an idea. It's a 90 boot uh, used for HVAC. That's what I did for quite a few years, so maybe that's why I just sort of had a tendency towards that. All I did was sort of looked at the opening on the lawn tractor deck, and there was also some bolt holes. Like some of these were in here already, like this one. Uh, these two were here. These two were actually used to hold on the black piece that's normally here that just shoots the grass over to the side. And then there's also one in here. And then all I did was add on some additional sheet metal to the top. So you can sort of see that right here. Uh, there's some screws here. And I covered everything in duct seal. Which is not necessarily something you need to do. But you can buy it from Home Depot. I figured it would... It'll seal the joints and maybe give it a tiny bit more strength. Because it's kind of got some sort of like really thick paint. If you were to remove this piece right here, you would see underneath. This is just the boot. I don't know what the hell my chicken's doing. Here's the boot right here. And then I essentially found that bolt hole. I, I marked the hole out, just tapped it with a hammer so I could see where it was. And uh, drilled that hole. I mounted the boot on here and then obviously it was still pretty flimsy on the top because none of this stuff was here. And then I cut a piece of sheet metal. I screwed it to the boot on the top here. It wasn't as trimmed as this is. It was just so it would fit in here without hitting anything. The shape of that doesn't really matter. I mean you can shape it sort of however as long as it's not interfering. You just want some way to mount it on there. So after I did that I, uh, after I'd screwed these on here, I went ahead and mounted this back on with this one bolt that's on the inside. And then I took a hammer and just, uh, soft hammer, you know, the ones that have sand in them and I'm never good with the names of things, and basically pounded this down so it was sort of the right angle. And then I decided to use these two bolts. So I drilled these holes out, I trimmed this up a little bit. Oh my god, chicken. Jesus. Get off of there. Get. Get down. Anyway. And then, uh, over here, there was another bolt hole, so I decided to use that too. So, Because obviously you want this on here fairly good. What I was going to do as far as the chute. It's a six inch. It's kind of crappy metal things that you can stretch out. I think this one's eight feet. So six inch by eight feet long when fully extended. There is absolutely nothing I can think of that would prevent you from doing this with hard pipe, which I may do in the future because the plan, I am just going to put that, fit that pipe to here and then it's going to go into the trailer after I thatch the lawn. So it's just going to sort of run up and run into the trailer and because that's just flexible I'm going to attach it to the trailer kind of loosely so it can move around when the trailer is pivoting. There's no reason that 
you couldn't come up with some sort of container yourself. I mean, that's half the fun, right? And mount it on the back of your tractor. Anyway, I'm gonna satch the lawn, and then after that's done, I'm gonna hook the trailer up, and then I'm gonna obviously put my tube on here and mount it to the trailer so that we can sort of see if this thing's gonna work. Although I've turned it on a few times with just this on there, and it is pretty tremendous, the amount of air that comes out of there, to be honest with you. So obviously, uh, be careful too. Don't chop your fingers off and don't work on any of the stuff with the lawnmower running. It's all pretty basic. What do you anticipate the issue with this would be once you fire this thing on? I don't know how I didn't anticipate it, but anyway. Of course, there's an absurd amount of air coming out of here, so it just blows the stuff all over the damn place. So I gotta put, my idea is just a contractor bag, at least temporarily. You could make like a wooden top. It's working. I'll show you the pass I did, or the one pass I did so far, so. Yeah, some stuff still like comes out the side, and but you can see, I mean, it's pretty obvious. If I was going to use sheet metal screws, if I was you, I'd try and find the ones that have the pointed end on them and have a quarter inch head. You don't need the self-tapper, the self-tapper just makes the screws end up loose. It's kind of, the hole's a bit too big. Especially these bigger ones are a nightmare to get through thin sheet metal. Especially if you don't have a ton of overlap, like if you only got a little bit of overlap and then there's dead space. You'll end up trying to put your screw in and, you know, you'll end up putting, trying to put your screw in or whatever and it's going to just cause the inside piece of sheet metal to crumble down. Now, here's what we got so far. Oh, I thought it was full, so, no, it's doing a really good job. Like, uh, where the actual hole is, is uh, totally clear, as you can see up here. Like the holes right there, and it it's kept that pretty clear and just filled up the rest, so it is working even at the side. We'll see you on part two when we continue working on the tractor bagger system. Like and subscribe. Later, buddy.